piping engineering is a vital discipline in the oil and gas, power, petrochemical, and process industries. It deals with the design, layout, analysis, fabrication, and installation of piping systems that transport fluids such as oil, gas, water, steam, and chemicals. Are you a fresher engineer eager to learn the basics of piping engineering? In this video, we'll simplify complex concepts into easy steps. How a system works, its layout, components, and the ASME standards behind it. Have you ever wondered how fluids like oil, gas, or water travel inside a plant? For fresher engineers, understanding of piping is the very first step. These are below topics which we shall cover today to understand regarding piping engineering. Piping system, how it works, concept layout development, piping components and their access requirement, straight length requirements, piping drains and vents. Material, ASME standards used in piping material. Let us first discuss about what is pipe. A pipe is a hollow tubular product made from materials such as steel, plastic, or glass. Its primary purpose is to transport fluids like liquids, gases, or any medium that can flow. Pipes play a vital role in every industrial plant. The design and engineering of piping systems have a major influence on the overall efficiency, safety, and performance of the plant. In the upcoming sections, we will explore more about pipes and their different components in detail. In every oil and gas plant, liquids and gases are carried from one point to another through pipes. Now, think of a setup where we have three tanks, tank 1, tank 2, and tank 3. The task is to transfer the liquid gas stored in tank 1 into tank 2 and tank 3. For this, we just need to connect tank 1 to the other two tanks with proper piping. So let's get the pipes ready and start making the connections. We have just brought the pipes, now we need to solve some more problems. Pipes are all straight pieces. We need some bend connections. Even some pipes are of different sizes. We need some branch connections. To solve these problems, we need the pipe components, which are called pipe fittings. Pipe fitting. These are the pipe fittings. There are various types of fittings for various purposes. Some common types are elbows, bends, tees, reducers, expanders, couplings, olets, etc. Anyway, the pipes and fittings are in place, but the ends are yet to be joined with the tank nozzles. We now have to complete the end connections. These in piping term we call terminal connections. So far, this is a nice arrangement but there is no control over the flow from tank one to other tanks. We need some arrangement to stop the flow if needed. These are flanged joints. This is a welded joint. To control the flow in a pipeline, we need to fit a special component that is called valve. There are many types of valves categorized based on their construction and functionality. Those are gate, globe, check, butterfly, etc. Next, we shall see how the fluid or gases flow can be controlled with help different valves. Flow control. Let's assume that oil or gases flow start from tank 1 to tank 3. Tank 2 valve is closed. Flow cannot enter in the tank 2. In this way, we can stop the flow in plants with the help of different types of valves. When we open the tank 2 valve, this fluid or gases can enter in tank 2. Other than valves, another important line component of pipeline is a filter, which cleans out derbies from the flowing fluid. This is called a strainer. Here we see a functional piping system with valves and strainer installed. This is piping strainer. Let us now investigate some aspects of pipe flexibility. If there is very hot process fluid or gases are flowing in the pipes to tank, then this tank inlet nozzle will expand. In such cases, we need to fit a flexible pipe component at that location, which is called an expansion joint. This is expansion joint. 
When process fluid or gases is flowing in a pipe, we may also like to know the parameters like pressure, temperature, flow rate, etc. of the process fluid or gases within the pipe for safe operation of the plant. To know the process parameters of process fluid or gases, we need to install instruments in the pipeline, like orifice, pressure gauge, temperature gauge, etc. This is flow meter, pressure gauge. There are various types of piping instruments are used to measure various process parameters in plant to meet the process requirements. Also, there are specific criteria for installation of various pipeline instruments. Next, we shall look how to support the pipe and its components. These are the typical piping supports, pipe clamp support, T-support, trunnion pipe support, etc. Here are some of the pipe supporting arrangements. There can be numerous variants. All depend on piping designer's preference and judgment. Let us see some other types of supports. Other types of support, spring box support, etc. These are common supports used in the piping. We have just gone through a piping design of piping system, how piping systems works in plant. Now we shall discuss process and instrumentation diagram P and ID. It is a detailed engineering drawing that shows piping system layout, how pipes connect equipment, process equipment, pumps, vessels, heat exchangers, reactors, compressors, etc. Instrumentation, valves, sensors, controllers, transmitters, gauges, etc. Flow direction, how the process fluid, liquid, or gas moves. Control loops, how instruments are linked for process control. Let us see a P and ID. This is typical process and instrumentation diagram, P and ID. All the equipments and pipe routing to be model in 3D software based on these P and IDs. 3D modeling of pipes and equipment. We use software such as Aviva E 3D, Autoplant 3D, and SP 3D to create piping layouts in a 3D plant environment. This activity is called piping modeling or physical design. While development of piping layout, we have to consider the following. Piping from source to destination should be as short as possible with minimum change in direction. Should not hinder any normal passageway. Also should not encroach any equipment maintenance space. While carrying out pipe routing, we also need to consider the following valves, strainers, instruments on the pipe should be easily accessible if needed separate access platforms to be provided to facilitate these. Desired location and orientation of valves slash instruments and other pipe components are to be checked and maintained, like some valves or strainers can only be installed in horizontal position. Specific requirements for instrument installation to be checked, like temperature gauge cannot be installed in pipe, which is less than four inches in size. Specific requirements of straight length of pipe for some components to be maintained, like for flow orifice, we need to provide 15 times diameter straight pipe length at upstream of orifice and five times diameter straight at downstream of orifice. For pipeline, which shall carry liquid, we have to make sure that all air is allowed to vent out of the line when the line is filled with liquid. To achieve this, a vent connection with valve is provided at the topmost point of the pipeline. Also, arrangement is kept in the pipeline so that liquid can be drained out if required. To achieve this, a drain connection with valve is provided at the lowest point of the pipeline. Pipes are also slopped towards low points. Let us look into typical vent and drain arrangement in a pipeline. This is how the 3D model look like. This is Aveva E 3D software. There are many other piping designing software like SP3D, Aveva E3D, Autoplant, etc. ASME standards in oil and gas, ASMEB 31.3, process piping, most widely used in oil and gas plants, ASMEB 31.1, power piping, for utilities like steam and high pressure piping, ASMEB 31.4, 
Pipeline Transportation Systems for Liquids and Slurries, ASMEB 31.8, Gas Transmission and Distribution Piping Systems, Pipe, ASMEB 36, API 5L, ASTM, Fittings, ASMEB 16.9, B16.11, Valves, ASMEB 16.34, API Series,